हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर नर्सेस प्रिपरेशन आई एम नीरज कुमार कैथल टुडे इज 23 दिसंबर एंड टुडे इज नर्सिंग क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स लेट्स बिगिन मोस्ट ऑफ द इन्फेक्शन स्प्रेड टू द ईयर फ्रॉम थ्रॉट थ्रू स्टेशन ट्यूब कॉकलिया ईयर कैनाल नन ऑफ द अब करेक्ट ऑप्शन ए most of the infection is spread to the ear from throat through the eustachian tube the eustachian tube is a canal that connects the middle ear to the nasopharynx which consists of the upper throat and the back of the nasal cavity it controls the pressure within the middle ear making it equal with the air pressure outside the body a patient just after taking antibiotics feel severe wheezing what may be the cause options are intermediate effect of drug anaphylactic reaction wrong selection of drug improper way of administration the right answer is option b due to the anaphylactic reaction patient feel severe wheezing after taking antibiotics wheezing is a high pitched whistling sound made while you breathe it's heard most clearly when you exhale but in severe cases it can be heard when you inhale it's caused by narrowed airways or inflammation wheezing may be a symptom of serious breathing problem that requires diagnosis and treatment important what is anaphylactic reaction anaphylactic reaction is also known as anaphylactic shock Anaphylactic shock is a rare but severe allergic reaction that can be deadly if you don't treat it right away. It's most often caused by an allergy to food, insect bites or certain medications. Symptoms: tight feeling in your throat and difficult breathing, hives, vomiting, dizziness, fainting, rapid heartbeat. In severe cases people collapse stop breathing and lost consciousness in just a couple of minutes Next question what you understand with the word antiseptic options are to prevent growth of microbes to destroy microorganisms both a and b option none of the above The right answer is option a to prevent growth of microbes we are using antiseptic actual meaning or the use of antiseptic is preventing the growth of disease causing microorganisms what is the cause of parkinson disease options are a degeneration of thalamus b degeneration of medulla c degeneration of pons d degeneration of basal ganglia This is very important degeneration of the basal ganglia is the cause of parkinson disease here the option d is correct one what is parkinson's disease parkinson's disease is a degenerative progressive disorder that affects nerve cells in deep parts of the brain called the basal ganglia and the substantia nigra Nerve cells in the substantia nigra produce the neurotransmitter dopamine and are responsible for relaying messages that plan to control the body movement. For reasons not yet understood, the dopamine producing nerve cells of the substantia nigra begin to die off in some individuals. When 80% of dopamine is lost, parkinson disease symptoms such as tremors slowness of movement stiffness and balance problem occurs next question please click upon the like button thank you which center is present in the medulla options are breathing center vasomotor center cardiac center all of the above Option D all of the above is the right choice The medulla oblongata or simply medulla is a long stem like structure which makes up a part of brain stem 
it is anterior and partially inferior to cerebellum it is a cone shaped neural mass responsible for autonomic functions ranging from vomiting to sneezing the medulla contains the cardiac respiratory vomiting and vasomotor centers and therefore deals with the autonomic functions of breathing heart rate and blood pressure as well as the sleep wake cycle after ovulation the ovum moves forward in fallopian tube by the chemotaxis muscular contraction both options a and b none of the above right option is c chemotaxis and muscular contractions are responsible by which the ovum moves forward in fallopian tube after ovulation next important question growth of newborn baby in first 6 month is a 2.5 cm per month b 7 cm per month option c 5 cm per month d 10 cm per month 2.5 cm per month is the right answer when india is declared free from smallpox option a june 1980 april 1980 april 1977 august 1977 option c is right april 1977 india was declared free from smallpox oil and fat are option a chain of amino acid b ester of fatty acid and glycerol second option is correct oil and fats are ester of fatty acid and glycerol next question main characteristics of emotionally disturbed children a aggressive by nature b unresponsive to external environment option b is the right choice main characteristic of emotionally disturbed general includes unresponsive to external environment thank you so much everyone for watching this complete video if you find this video is helpful then please click upon the like button share this video with your friends and please subscribe our channel for nurses preparation for more such interesting nursing related videos All the best